I'm a tomboy. Of course everybody thinks I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I'm a tomboy. Of course people act surprised when I say I have a daughter. <laughs> I'm a tomboy. Of course I'm extremely competitive. <laughs> I'm a tomboy. Of course I'll beat you in a one-on-one -on -one and then suck you right after. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm a tomboy. <laughs> Wait a minute. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Tomboy. Of course girls and guys try to talk to me. <laughs> I'm a tomboy. Of course I have a bunch of guy friends. Of course I know how guys think. Of course I know that you guys are all pieces of <laughs> I'm a tomboy. I feel as though growing up we all had that one tomboy homegirl that uh, we wanted to spank them cheeks. It's been situations where, uh, you know, I shot my shot. I'm not going to lie. I shot my shot because I'm not gay. When you play basketball with, with your tomboy homegirl, you didn't know she had the hands until she came out there in the, in the basketball shorts, and now you defensive player of the year. Huh? You can't wait for her to back you down. I know that was me. I know that was me. Anytime, shoot, even now, anytime a female come out there on the court, you know, I shouldn't say that, but yeah, man, you come out there on the court and, and you want to hoop, post me up. Put me in the post, baby. <laughs> Put me in the post. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm 26. You 26? That's a real age? 26? Yeah. You know you know my ass is lying. Yeah, I know you lying. I can tell you. Uh, I'm 30. Damn. I ain't sure I look dirty. You look good as hell, though. Thank you. I appreciate that. You ain't got no man? I do. I got a few. I got, like, thousands. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, yeah, she, she pretty. You, you have a really nice smile and your right. dimple and nose ring. Okay. I, I know these dudes be dying over you. I'm trying to have you dying over me, though. If you <laughs> yeah, say. I am. I ain't never had a New York girl, though, before, so. Re you know, really? To I, see, I love that aggressiveness. Love it. Like, so I gotta be aggressive. So I can't be sweet. You don't like them nice boys. Don't worry. No, you gotta be a mean ass, ass mother. Mean ass mother. So I'm gonna choke. Oh, okay, okay. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. You're not gonna want me, trust me. Yes, I am. Hell yeah, I'm gonna want you. What, 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 what you mean? You not, bro. Why you say that? Oh my god. You gotta test me. I'm a grown ass man over here. Are you really? Hell yeah. Because when I tell people that grown goes out the window, I'm a transsexual. You, you. Oh. Oh. Oh, I said that motherfucker was cute. I don't know. I don't know if this one making it on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know. If, oh, shit. Oh, my God. I said, I said, I said she was, I said it was cute. I said, oh, Lord, I got caught. I got caught. You what? Exactly what you heard. Fuck. You a Nick? Damn, why you gotta say it like that? Blatantly, I'm not a woman and I'm not a man. I'm a trans. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing. It's some dangerous times we living in. Man, I hope that's a female that was lying. Cause if that that's really a man dog. You know what? I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm hurt. I couldn't tell the difference.
Is that real? No, you can't. I'm, I'm not going to even do that. Because different culture eat different things, okay? And maybe in her culture, that's a delicacy. I'm not going to judge. But I know for me, I'm not eating no water bugs. I'm not eating no roaches. That is a big-ass roach. And it was crispy. Like, did she fry it? Imagine that's your girl, dog. That you be kissing. You be tonguing that down. And you come on the internet and see her devouring a water bug. On the flip side, imagine that's your girl. And you know, y'all doing grown people things. And she talking about, I don't suck no d And then you come on the internet and see her devouring a water bug. I'm going to show you how to take back your finances, man. Okay? Women love a guy who's assertive, plans ahead, so let's beat them at their own game. Let's assert, and let's plan ahead, huh? How you gonna do that? All right, ready to rock and roll? Yeah. What do we, um, what do we need? What do you want to get? Uh, we need a toilet paper, toilet paper, and body wash. Toilet paper, body wash. You got it. Honey, you can't pack here. What was it? You can't park here. This is for, like, the driver. Hot. She's from Boston. Perfect. Thank you. Here we go. Give those to you. Okay. I'm so sick of this shit. Well, you wanted toilet paper, body wash? We're not going to keep doing this. I called this. ahead. No. I made plans. Reservations. Honey, I, wa so I want to do a lap. Oh, we can do a lap around the building to leave. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. This is like a, a special move that you save for when your wife gets you mad. You know when you play video games, like you play fighting games, like Street Fighter and them type of things, and you have an ultra combo? This is an ultra combo. This is a special move. This is one of those, when you build a meter up, and you pull it out at the last minute. That's what that is right there. Let's go ahead and clap it up for that man. You know what I'm saying? He went out like a martyr for us. I'm letting y'all know this right now, that cutting your woman's target runs short is grounds for divorce. So I was just doing DoorDash and I had to bring somebody food who worked in the courthouse and they worked on the fifth floor. So I had to park my car, go to the fifth floor, drop off their food. I didn't want to pay to park because I can't afford to pay to park. Okay. Mm. I was only going to be gone for like four or five minutes. So I found this parking lot. It didn't say anything about paying. I guess you, you had to have a pass or something. I don't know. I didn't know. So I parked my car in this free parking and as I'm coming down from giving her her DoorDash, I see somebody at my car. It's not a police officer. It's just like a security guard or whatever. I guess he writes tickets for people. And I see him and I sprint across the street. I'm like, please, I was just doing DoorDash. Like, please don't give me a ticket. I got an $80 ticket trying to do DoorDash. Like, if you know you work in a building where there's no parking, Meet the DoorDash person outside or something. Like, mm. do you know how long it's going to take to make $80? Like, 80 extra dollars through DoorDash? Like, and then she tipped me a dollar. Hell no. Hell no. One thing I never did was do DoorDash. I did Uber, and Uber wasn't that bad to me. Uber was a good experience. DoorDash and Uber Eats, I can see how you can have plenty of bad experiences doing that. To me, doing DoorDash and them things ain't worth it. But at the same time, let me not complain because I do get my food delivered via Uber Eats, and I tip very well.